Alright guys, uh, this video is going to be me pinning my stock to where I want it. Alright, I already installed the stock on there and I'm going to have it fully extended out, you know. You can see I made a mark right there and one on this side. Where is it? There it is. So now, I went to Home Depot or Lowe's, one of the two, whatever, and I actually bought two sizes of roll pins. This is a 332nd by half inch long. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Alright, these are the bigger of the two sizes. And this is 1 16th by half inch. So now, the reason I got two different ones is because I want to have the smallest pin in there possible. So that um, you really can't see it and it's not you know mainly so you don't see it but it'd be very effective so this is 116 I'm gonna try to 116 if that doesn't work then I can always go one size bigger and use the bigger so I'm gonna do the smaller one first and see how that works out now I've never done this before this is my first time I've watched plenty of videos on it I have uh, plenty of help from a couple of guys so I got my roll pin it's 116 I got a 116 drill bit very small. My DeWalt, you know, lithium ion battery. So now I'm going to drill my mark. So that one's that side's drilled. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna drill this side. Make sure I'm on there. Knock the shavings out of there. Okay, there you go. Let me just clean these up. A little garbage right there. Okay, so now within, in essence, I should be able to pop that pin in there through the stock. Now, if you look at the CTR stocks, right above the friction holder, there's a couple, there they are, one, two, there's two, two holes there. So now, th that's what I'm actually going to use, so I'm not actually drilling into this. I'm going to sneak the, the pin right through there. And, uh, but they ain't luck, it works. If not, we figure something else out. So I'm going to push that in. Alright, so now right now it's adjustable. And I can see through my pinhole. So I'm gonna take the pin, I'm gonna place it in there like that. I'm gonna get my punch set. I'm gonna start out a little bit bigger than what the roll pin is. And let's see if this works, guys. It's going right in. So now when I close, right now it's it's stuck. It's pinned. It can't go nowhere. Even if. But now I do have wiggle. But if I close the friction, oh, it's wiggling because my... Castle nuts not torque down, remember? I didn't torque it down yet. I'm jumping the gun here. So So yeah, there there's a little wiggle on there, but that's the way it normally is. With the friction lock, there's no wiggle on it. I think I pinned my first stock, guys.
I'm actually going to try and set that a little bit deeper. That's not going anywhere. All right, guys, I pinned my first stock. Man, I wish I had that that armor's tool. I could, pin, I could set that and forget about it. And uh, I actually did buy some Loctite for the castle nut, but I got the, the blue Loctite. But I don't have the tool yet, so and I'm thinking. In, I don't know if I'm going to put a, a swivel ring on this yet because uh, with the CTR you can put the with the CTR you can put the adjustable ambidextrous uh, swivel mount on that. All right, so now seeing that that's pinned, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pull out my AR. Let me clear a spot here, real quick, and I'm going to take this lower and put it on my AR and show you guys what so far what it looks like. Give me one second. All right, here's my AR, guys. Nothing in it. That's my stock one. And let's put my new one on and see what we have here, guys. So what do you guys think? I mean, granted, I still got to get a trigger for it. Let's throw a magazine in there. Where's my magazine? Alright. Now, obviously, this gun here has a 20-inch barrel. I'm going to go with a 16-inch barrel. And talking to a couple people, I might go with the uh, mid-length uh, gas tube. But, uh... Question for you guys, do I go and I buy a completed upper and just slap it on and change the parts or do I buy just the stripped upper and build it myself just like I did with the lower? I've been trying to find the black rain matching upper but for some reason I'm having trouble finding it and if I do find it they want crazy amounts of money. Um, give me a little input guys, let me know what you guys think if I should uh, just buy an upper because you got to remember also being from Jersey. I gotta have my muzzle brake, not a flash hider, not a flash suppressor, my muzzle brake's gotta be pinned. If you guys could look, let me see if I can get it, where is it, right there, you see that little dot right there? That's cause this has been pinned. I cannot pull this off. So when I do this, if I build it myself. I have to put everything on and then take it to a gunsmith to have them weld this on. It's got to be pinned and welded on so that you can't remove it. So I don't know if it would be better if I just get it, you know, fabricated already, or, you know, pre-installed where I could just change out the rails that I want and already have it set for the mid-length uh, gas tube. Basically, guys, it, it, this is fun. I enjoy this. This is easy. I can't believe the stock is pinned. Then I, you know, I'm looking at it. I might actually go with a bigger, with a bigger pin, or just change the location that I pinned it in, so that it doesn't move, or it doesn't wiggle. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, basically, that's it for now, guys. Until I get the armor's tool, I can torque that down and I get the trigger. Thanks for watching, guys.